finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross, the cross has spoken. I am forgiven. The King of kings calls me his own. Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my circumstance is we have hope in you Jesus and so I pray right now that no matter what we're going through no matter what hopeless circumstance we're facing no matter what depression or anxiety or fear or stress or worry or doubts whatever it is that we've come here with God I pray that we would experience the living hope of Jesus Christ that we would experience the hope that only you give Jesus I thank you, God, for the work that you are doing right now and the work that you will do. We love you, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. Awesome worship. You guys can take a seat. My name is AJ, and I am officially the campus pastor here. Yeah. So, hey, if you're new here, uh, we just want to say welcome. Uh, this is last week I was the Connections pastor. This week, I'm the campus pastor. So, Welcome to our church. Uh, we love you guys. We're so glad that you guys decided to join us today. It is a special day. We are having a block party, all right? So if you're here and you got invited by a friend, we are so glad that you decided to say yes to that invitation. We're glad that you're here today. It's going to be so much fun. And in fact, this is going to be probably one of the shortest messages we've ever had at Saddleback, but it is going to be great. You're going to love it. And we just want you to know, you have a place to belong. You have a home to belong here at Saddleback. And if this is your first time on your connection card, there's a little card in here we call our connection card. You can just let us know that you're here. Again, we just want to resource you. We want to help you guys out in the journey that you're in. We don't want anything from you. We just want to come alongside of you and help you in this journey uh, while you um, come through Saddleback. Now, uh, there's also a name tag. This will be a way for us to get to know one another. Um, outside in the, in the courtyard, we'll be meeting. You guys can uh, meet people by, uh, you know, just knowing these name tags will be great. Having these name tags will be awesome. Um, now, if this is your first time, we want to invite you back next week. Next week, we're doing something special. It's called our Welcome Lunch. And this will be an opportunity for you just to get to know some of the people at our church uh, talk about what brought you here or maybe hear from some people what brought you back and it's just been a great way to, for people to connect I mean I hear constantly in these lunches man, it's so welcoming I feel so much love when I come here I feel so much acceptance and that's exactly the place that we want to have for you to belong to here at Saddleback so we would love to have you and if you would like to come to that welcome lunch on your connection card you can just write welcome lunch again it's a free lunch uh, the only reason we want to uh, know that um, you're coming is so we know how much food to bring, all right? So uh, another group of people I wanted to acknowledge right now is our volunteers. Uh, if you're a volunteer, could you stand up? I just wanted to, it, no matter if it's midweek, if it's, if it's on the weekend, whatever it is, yes, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You guys can take a seat. Um, you guys are amazing. We cannot do what we do without you guys. And this, um, actually on November 8th, so in a couple weeks, we are doing a volunteer team rally, and we want you guys to be there. We're going to have uh, dinner, we're going to have some games, some giveaways, and some things just to really celebrate all that God has done in and through you guys. Now, if you're a volunteer, or maybe you volunteered in the past, uh, and you've been away for a while, and you're looking for an opportunity to step back in, this is the opportunity. Or if you've thought about volunteering and you, you haven't volunteered yet, but you want to get some more info, this will be a great night. We're going to hear from Pastor Andy. He's going to speak some vision into us about volunteering and appreciating you guys for all that you've done, and we would love to have you there. If you just write Team Rally on here, we'll get you that information so you can register, and we would love to see you on November 8th. It's going to be here in this room at the community center, all right? So if you get some other dates, uh, all of Saddleback is doing November 3rd because this room was only available on November 8th. That's when we're doing ours. Now, lastly, as I mentioned, we're going to do a block party, and right after this message, we're going to celebrate. It is going to be fun. We have um, some amazing tacos. I just had a couple. Uh, you guys, if you like tacos, these are on point. Uh, we have a dunk tank, so that's why my hair's all wet. It's because I was getting dunked. So if you guys want to dunk me, come and do that. We have some carnival games, so you guys can play some games, bring the kids. We have some giveaways that we're doing with a little raffle, so the kids uh, have some cool prizes, and the adults, one lucky winner here, um, will get a, a new pair of AirPods. So if you would like, and you just get a ticket anytime you play a game, or if you throw the ball to dunk me, you get, you get a ticket. So uh, come and have some fun. We got some pinatas, some face painting. It's going to be a lot of fun, all right? Now, uh, Pastor Andy, he is going to speak to us, and this message is titled, uh, um, A Party with a Purpose, okay? So why are we doing this party? Why are we having this? Well, it's with a specific purpose, and Pastor Andy is going to teach us all about that purpose today. So let's join up with Pastor Andy and the rest of Saddleback as we study God's Word together. Well, it's so good to be with you today. We're so thrilled that you're here. We're going to have a lot of fun at our block party uh, this is one massive party for us as a church across multiple continents, all across Southern California. 
Today we're going to have some fun together. But before I jump into my message that I have for you today, I want to make sure that you know next weekend coming up, we're kicking off a brand new teaching series. It's called Relating to Humans. And if you're anything like me over the last few years, it's been harder to relate to humans. Uh, in fact, so much with technology and crisis that we've been in in our nation has put a lot of distance between so many people. And we need a new set of norms, a new set of principles to help us in our relationships. So we're going to talk about some very practical things that we can do to relate to one another the way that God designed us to. It's going to be a great series, and we hope that you'll come back for that next weekend. Now, to start today's message, I want to begin with a question or a consideration. And I want you to think for just a moment about a party that you went to. A party, friends, family, could be work party. The best party that you've ever been to in your life that you can think of. And it could be somewhere that you went with a group. It can be a family party. But when you think of that party, what are the things that come to mind for you? Perhaps uh, food comes to mind. Perhaps the people that you were with are at, at the top of your mind. Uh, maybe for some of us, it was like a celebration that we had. I want to show you some of my party pictures here with my family. We love to have parties. Um, we love ice cream. Anybody else like ice cream for parties? Yes. Uh, we love to celebrate. The one is a Mother's Day celebration. Here's a picture of me with some friends, a birthday party for some of our close friends. And all of these parties or all these gatherings together, I look at them, I have great memories from them. And the unique thing about these parties is all of these parties had a purpose to them. There was something that we were celebrating or that we were doing together. And when you think about the best parties in your life, the best parties in life always have a reason for getting together. But inherent within us or deep within our soul as humans is we love to party. It's the way that God has made us. In fact, I would argue that God made you to party. He made us to enjoy life. That's why we party at Saddleback Church. Because we believe that God is a God who is filled with joy. But wouldn't we all agree that there are some parties in our lives that we have regrets from? And part of the problem for us is that when we get in a situation where we're not really sure why we're partying, we can find ourselves actually partying to avoid life. So there are two reasons why humans party. One is that we party to celebrate life. The other is that we can tend to party to avoid life. And it's good to know, what kind of party are you at? Are you at a party that actually has a purpose or a party that doesn't have a purpose? And today we have a party with a purpose. And the reason why is we believe that the God of the universe is inviting us